Yo, yo, people, welcome back to Run Stack Hub. All right, the next app I'm going to be looking at is called Photo Sync. This is another app that you can use to back up photos from your Android mobile phone to your Open Media Vault. Well, not just Open Media Vault server, but any SMB server and potentially other kinds of servers as well. So I'm going to open Photo Sync. It's going to ask me to allow notifications. I'm going to choose yes. Allow Photo Sync to access photos. And yep, I'm going to open settings. I'm going to go to permissions and I'm going to allow photos and videos. Click allow, go back to the app. Then the bottom right hand corner, you click on the settings gear cog and then you're going to go to configure. So that's the second option there. Click on configure and you, you need to choose the thing you're trying to transfer to. Not only does it allow you to back up to your local storage areas, you can also back up to somewhere like Google Drive, which I think this is probably the better feature set of the apps I've looked at simply because I can back up to SMB. I can back up to Google Drive. I can back up to OneDrive. I can back up to, I can back up to all these different services. And for something like Google Drive that gives you free 15 gigabytes, you can back up a couple of thousand photos easily there. Anyways, I'm going to go to SMB. After I click on SMB, it automatically comes up with SMB1 not configured. So I'm going to click on not configured, edit SMB connection. The only thing I needed to do for this one, because when I set up my Open Media Vault server originally, I said anyone on my network can act as a guest and all guests are allowed to edit and make changes to files on the system. So in the server tab at the very top, I'm going to type in my IP address. So for me, it's 192.168.0.0. 149 you enter whatever yours is i'm only going to click on search i'm not going to change anything else at the moment and when i click on search mine comes up straight away so to be fair the only thing you really need to know when setting up this app is the ip address of the server click on mini pc share it gets all the other information it needs i guess i'm going to click on connect and yeah that's it it's connected now then i need to click on destination folder i'm going to click on that there and i already have a folder for this so i'm going to click on where it says 03 photo sync click on that and then click select on the top right hand corner so that's going to be where my stuff goes to next i'm going to click on select before transfer this doesn't seem like this doesn't work like all the other two apps work i think with this one you can select things in your media pool or your photos app or your gallery app and then you can back stuff up that way it doesn't actually based on what i've seen anyway there's no way for you to choose a specific folder or multiple of folders and say back up everything from this specific location my next option is going to be select before transfer and once you do that it automatically highlights memorize recent folder now there's no way for you to select where you want to set the transfer to go from on your mobile phone here so what i think you have to do you click on done at the very top it goes back to the main gallery section and on the hamburger menu at top left you press that and you can see all the different files and folders on the left hand side so for example i'm gonna go down to where i have so if i I go to my movies folder this is where i have my screen recordings i'm going to highlight all of these and then sync them so unlike the other apps this does not have a, a section based on what i've seen for the free version which i'm using now there's no section for you to simply select for example your entire camera folder or your entire dcim folder you have to go into folders and manually highlight things and back them up based on what i've seen i haven't used this app extensively so there might be some hidden feature which i haven't found yet but if there is please let me know so i'm going to click on the dots in the top right hand corner for up Options. I'm going to choose modify selection from there I'm going to choose select all so it just highlights everything in there and then I'm going to try pressing on that red circular button from here I'm going to choose any one of these options should work but I'm going to go to selected I need to send it to my SMB and then from there it comes up with 03 photo sync because this is the folder I told it I want stuff to go to just to make sure that this is working fine let me go to my file manager let me go to my open media vault mini pc share in that folder they're labeled the 03 photo to sync as you can see from this it says zero items so if i go back to my app the photo sync app and i choose select it's transferring stuff at the moment there are video files that are going to be a bit larger than pictures i'm going to now go back to my file manager i'm going to drag the top down just to refresh and zero three photo sync should move from zero to one file perfect i notice instead of copying just the files it creates a folder the name of my device so google pixel a pro and then inside of that that's where we have movies and then inside of that is where i have my three items um it's it's a bit long-winded but it works and i think that's perfectly fine so just as a recap i set up a service message block shared folder i was able to copy from my android mobile phone to my open media vault server in my basement over the network so there was no need for me to access the internet there was no need for me to use any cables it was all done using my wi-fi i said this is probably the app that i would use last instead of the other two but saying that i prefer to do things manually so if you're someone who prefers to go in and manually select what needs to be transferred this might be the easier one to use 
It was very straightforward and easy to set up. It looks better than the first app I used, but at the same time, I think the other two apps offer a bit more for a freemium model. But let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. More content incoming.